Let's get into this wild day. We have to start. You know, I've been saying this for a while. I do the power rankings every week at sharpfootballanalysis.com. And I've been saying for a while that there just aren't any good teams. And every time we get excited about a team and move them up, then they just get cut down. That happened again today. The Chiefs go and lose to the Broncos. Um, they, they've they been kind of just hanging on. I mean, we've talked, I, I think, on this show before that – a lot of their wins have not been impressive. They had that big quarter against the Chargers last week. But outside of that, it wasn't like the offense has been impressive. The offense hasn't been what we expect the Kansas City offense to be. Now they go and and lose against Denver in Denver 24 to 9. It just it doesn't look right for this team, but it also doesn't look right for any team. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to like. What's the takeaway here? The Chiefs are still probably one of the best teams in the league, right? Because there aren't any good teams. So it's it's such a weird thing to talk about. Yeah, and you just, like you said, look across the league. There are a lot of teams who put up big points today. I mean, the Eagles put up 38 points today, and I don't know if there's a lot of positives that people are taking away from that game, right? Like their defense really struggled against Sam Howell. They, they struggled. They turned the ball over twice inside the five-yard line. Like, they could have put up probably close to 50 points if they just held on to the ball. Within the five yard line, you mentioned the Chiefs. I mean, they've had you know one decent quarter really in the last three weeks uh, against uh, not San Diego, but the Los Angeles Chargers, the artist formerly known as the San Diego Chargers last week. And other than that, they've really struggled offensively the last three weeks. And it happens sometimes, like we've seen it before with this team where they kind of go into a lull, they may struggle. And I'm not ever going to bet on a team that has Patrick Mahomes at, at quarterback. And we talked about it last week, they're still six and two, they had the second best record in the NFL, but. Yeah, across the league. I mean, the team that I'm kind of more concerned about, I think, is the 49ers, who they do have everybody. I know they didn't have Debo Samuel this week, but Christian McCaffrey has been back. He has been playing. That that oblique injury hasn't really limited him. Um, He had a a full workload today with 12 carries and another six catches. But Brock Purdy is starting to look like maybe the guy that people who doubted him thought he would look like. And when you compare that to, to what the Chiefs are right now, who I think they can figure it out, I certainly trust. Patrick Mahomes to figure it out. The 49ers have now lost what three in a row and they're two games behind the Eagles, one game behind the the Cowboys. And I think for that team, I don't know if you have a body of work big enough for that quarterback to where you can point to and be confident. They're going to turn things around. Yeah. And I think, so the thing about Purdy is, and the 49ers do have a bye coming up this week and they lost to the Bengals, a Bengals team and that Joe Burrow looked back to being Joe Burrow, and that has been has been resurgent after their difficult start, and was coming off of their own bye week. And so there was a lot working in Cincinnati's favor. But the thing with Purdy is, I think that all that's really changed, I mean, you look in this game, he was still 22 of 31, 365 yards. He still averaged 11.8 yards per attempt. Uh, we saw that last week as well. We're just seeing the turnovers. We're seeing the turnover as, as PFF calls them, the turnover worthy plays are actually turning into turnovers now, which is not something that we had seen. He'd been kind of getting lucky a little bit in that respect. So it'll be interesting to see when they go into the buy, how they fix that. But you mentioned them now, the 49ers. I mean, you, we still think the 49ers are probably one of the 10 best teams in the league, right? We're not going to drop them out of the top 10, even though they've lost three in a row. You mentioned the Eagles. The Eagles now have struggled to beat the commanders in two games. I don't know what it is about Sam Howell. I have no idea what Sam Howell has over this defense. Sam Howell took one sack in, in that game. He threw for 397 yards with four touchdowns. Am I right about that? Or no, that was, sorry. That was a, that was Jalen Hurts. I think. All right, never mind. We'll retract that. But either way, like they haven't been able to. So Sam Howell threw for 397. Is that right? Am I right about that? Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, Jalen I Hurts doubted threw for 319 and four touchdowns. Sam Howell threw for 397 and four touchdowns. And also, he looked like Joe Montana. Out there. And, I, you know, shout out to Eric the enemy for what he did yeah. offensively. There were a lot of moving parts, a lot of play action, a lot of misdirection to kind of get him, you know, moving. And a lot of short passes. Like, Jahan Dotson had eight catches for 108 yards. And as long as only 23. And this is a guy who is normally used to, to take the top off of defense and, and go deep. But, you know, what they did offensively, I, I thought was was pretty great. And it was great. I mean, Sam Howe threw the ball 52 times. They only ran the ball, I think, 16 total um i mean they they really just put it on the kid to go out and win and they had a shot i mean they they played pretty well um throughout most of the game and finished with 31 points in, in a high score division game but then on the other side you have jalen hurts who i just doesn't look right and it's crazy because he completed 75 percent of his passes at 320 yards four touchdowns 
had a pass rating of 135, which I know is a very imperfect stat, but that's his best number in his career outside of one game uh, from last year when he beat up on the Steelers. And he's playing on one leg. Like he can't run. He's limping after he does have to scramble. Um, he was late to his press conference today after the game because he said he was getting treatment on the knee. He refuses to talk about the knee in, in general. And right now, I mean, the Eagles' best offense is throw the ball to A.J. Brown and get out of the way. He had another ridiculous game, eight catches, 130 yards, sixth straight game in you know with 125 yards, uh, a new NFL record. And once again, that's a team that I don't think a lot of people are necessarily happy. Like Sean Desai, certainly going to be under the gun this week for the way he made Sam how look, but they won again. They have the best record in the NFC. They have a two game lead over um, the 49ers. They have a one game lead over Dallas for the division right now. They play next week on Sunday night football, but same thing. It's another team that you look at their record and you think everything's going well, but you look at the process and think, well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe there are big issues here, but that's the way it is for everybody right now. Like, I don't know if there's a team that we can pick out that is clicking on all cylinders. I thought after last week that the answer to that question might be the Ravens after we saw their offense really click against the Lions, a Lions team that had been good. And then the Ravens, to be fair, they scored 31 today. Gus Edwards had a big game, like I think all the fantasy people uh, like me expected. He had 19 for 80 with three touchdowns. But Lamar Jackson threw for 157 with a touchdown, ran for 17 yards, had a really lackluster fantasy day i think we were expecting to see more and they more just held on against the cardinals they won 31 to 24 like we said at the set of the top cardinals got a a onside kick recover it could have made it you know very very interesting and so i expected the ravens to be that team given how good their defense has been even with the adversity they faced from an injury perspective and what we saw from their offense last week and then we walk right back into this offense kind of just being okay if even that feeling like it kind of was sleepwalking at times and so yeah you go through all these teams and you think are 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 any of these teams are any of these teams good and i don't know if any of these teams are good but it might not matter because these are going to be the best teams the eagles yeah, are yeah i mean like their record they're not going to the cowboys perhaps the cowboys catch them well you know we'll see what happens there the cowboys obviously had a great win today we'll talk about it later but you know, the, the Eagles aren't going to get caught by a wild, the, the teams outside the wild card. Uh, the Chiefs are going to run away with that division. The Ravens, I mean, they're in an interesting spot now in the division because of what the Bengals are doing. We'll get more into the Bengals later. But yeah, these teams are going to be in the playoffs and these teams are probably going to be the best teams. And we don't feel good about any of them. And that feels like a, a big departure from where we normally are in an NFL season by this point. 